it's nice to meet you. My name is Micah. It's nice to meet you. Can I Are use you? my D10? We'll find out. I'm going to, we're going to play this game and we're going to find out what die we are by actions that we make in the game and how we resolve things. So how we do things in, in, in Venture Village is we are going to take the role of animals that live in a village with other animals. And we do helpful things around the town to help each other and do fun things with other animals. Um, to start, what type of animal do you guys want to be? Black jaguar. Oh, a black jaguar. I like it. And what would you want to be? Actually, I want to be a king cobra. A king cobra. Nice. He wants to be a king cobra, and I want to be a skunk. A skunk. I like that. I was going to be a hippo, but I was just saying that for Ralph. But I'm actually going to be a king cobra. Nice. And what's your king cobra's name? Hmm. Cobra? What? Cobra. Cobra? And what's your skunk's name? Sensi. Skunky? Sensi. Sensi. Nice. I like that one. That's, that's cool. We now, were thinking about things to say uh, last night. Nice. So let me ask, what does Cobri do that's helpful in town? Does he... is is Cobri like someone that like helps other people? Does he do cool stuff for himself? What does he do? So he scares, a, he scares away bullies. He scares away what? Bullies. Bullies. Nice. With his bang. I like that. That's cool. And for Sensi, what does Sensi do that's helpful? Creates perfumes. Nice. Do you give them away or do you sell them? Uh, I sell them. You sell them? And for Cobri, what's, what's something that you have that you carry around with you that helps you scare away bullies? My fangs. Your fangs? And for Sensi, what do you carry around that helps you either create kit. or sell your perfumes? A chemistry kit. A chemistry kit. Dad would be a termite who owns a local hardware store. No, so the cash register was here. I thought it was it. <laughs> I'm going to uh, run us through a little scenario, and we're going to decide what your role is. And what I mean by your role is we're going to dec decide whether you are someone that uh, someone that resolves your problems by either talking or by uh, using your heart and protecting people, or someone that resolves things by moving and getting things done like that. So. Welcome to Venture Village. Today, you are a part of the annual, you're in a meeting for the annual Adventure Society uh, meeting where all the towns, Venture Village, and all of its neighboring towns have come to be a part of a big meeting. And everyone is here from all over the place. We have people from... Uh, Oasis, which is a neighboring town. We have people from Twilight Peaks who have come. We have people from 
uh, Rivervale. They're all here in celebration of an event that's about to come up. And the event that's coming up is the Adventure Society's Soapbox Racing. Uh, it is pretty much what it is, is you're going to help build a car, then race it for your troop and see if you guys could win. You're trying to raise funds for the Summertime Festival. So the Summertime Festival is, is coming up and, and the Adventure Society is trying to raise funds to try and bring uh, more food in a big event so that you guys can have a lot of fun. And in the Soapbox Racing Derby, you're going to make a car and you're going to try and uh, make it really cool and also try to win the race. So here you are in this big room in uh, Town Hall. And you see your troop leader here and all the other troop leaders from the area. They're all here to, to celebrate. And you see a bunch of the other animals who are part of other troops. They're all kind of whispering to each other. And uh, you see like a few different animals. You see a, a bear, uh, a cub. You see a deer. You see a turtle. And a few other animals and are all kind of huddled together, talking, looking at you. What? I said a mouse. Yeah, there's a mouse too. They're all talking and they keep looking over at you and, and they're looking and, and they're pointing every once in a while. And with you, much like uh, Sensi, is another skunk named Scoot. Scoot is... a. Uh, wants to be a professional talker when he grows up. But Scoot uses uh, a device to talk because he's too scared to talk in front of people. But one day when he grows up, he wants to be a professional talker. Scoot, uh, his uncle, is your troop leader. And right now, uh, Scoot's uncle is talking with the other troop leaders. And you see uh, one of them steps up and says, welcome everyone. This year is a special event. We're having the soapbox rally race. And this year it's at Venture Village. I hope you're all excited because last year Venture Village won and we expect good things to see come from this one as well. Do you guys think you're going to win? Is that a yes? This sounds yeah. like a crowd yeah. that's not very excited to win this race. Do you want to yeah. win? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so you see uh, all the kids are all like yelling, yes, we're going to win. You see that there are still some kids that are kind of talking to themselves and still pointing at you guys. What do you guys do? try and go over there and ask them what's going on. I just say, what's going on? When you go over and ask what's going on, you see one of the, the deers kind of look over at you and kind of squint at you and give you like a kind of a face, like, like almost like they don't like you for some reason. And uh, they point over to, Sco to Scoot and says, Scoot's uncle is one of the judges, and he's your troop leader. I bet you guys are going to cheat like, like your troop did last year. What do you guys do? I ask I them, them what things. I ask them what they're talking about. So this sounds like Sensi resolves their problems by talking. So you are going to be the talker. And it seems like Colby uses his, uh, likes to protect people, and he's going to be the protector. Now, which one do you write it on? So on the, the character sheet, on the top of that sheet there, 
you're going to see uh, your role. And your role, I will tell you in one second. Um, the protector is the D10. The talker is the D6. So, Sensi, you are the D6, and Cobri, you are the D10. So, whenever you're going to try to do something in this game, you're going to roll your die. And if you match what you're trying to do, uh, and I'll tell you what, you're, what kind of a roll you're tr trying to make, uh, you will succeed or fail at it. And if you're trying to do something that you're trying to focus, like if you're trying to remember something, if you're trying to uh, try to stay focused in a, in a tough situation, or if you are trying to think your way out of something, you're going to roll a focus roll. I'm going to say, can you give me a focus roll? So Sensi, we're just going to practice this. Give me a, a focus roll. So roll your die. And you're looking for either a two or a three. What did you get? I got a four. You got a four. So you failed at this roll, but let's say you rolled a one. If you rolled a one, you would get something called a help token. And you're going to have now a help token that either one of you could use on someone else's turn. So on your next turn, if you try to, if you roll and you fail, if Cobri wants to try to help you, he could spend that help token and he can tell me how he's going to help you and you succeed at what you're trying to do because he's helping. Does everybody understand that? Yep. Mm -hmm. Um, Cobri, let's say you were trying to do something that was like trying to show your fangs, which is the per perfect opportunity for this. So you're going to roll your D10 and you're trying to uh, protect you and your friends and your troop from these bullies who are kind of making like teasing you guys right now, calling you cheaters. Six, seven, eight, or nine? Yes. I got a seven. Nice. Also, you are using your fangs, which is the item that you have. So that means you have advantage. So you get to roll again. Go what ahead, roll. What did you get now? The same thing. Two. It's okay, because you succeeded on one of those. So you get to roll twice, and, and if you succeed on either one of those, you'll succeed. Oh, so my so our item is basically an advantage? Yeah, exactly. So your items and the helpful thing you do are an advantage. Oh, so showing my things was against bullies actually is my tool, and it's what I do. Exactly. But sometimes if they're really bad, I bite them without using venom. Ooh, that sounds scary. I don't know if I would, I would want to upset you. <laughs> so right now, uh, you just showed your fangs to, to everyone that was pointing their fingers at you and calling you cheaters. And uh, they all kind of like step back for a minute. You're, you're not going to bite us, are you? <laughs> Answer the question. I might if you'd be worse. Well, we we heard that Venture Village last year cheated. That that's what everyone's saying. Um, they said that a turtle named Weber Wilbur, he he was in your in your troop, and his grandfather was a scout for fifty years. And, and he was one of the judges last year. And now Scoot, he, he also has his uncle on, on as one of the judges. We think you guys are going to be cheaters. It's okay. I'm not going to bite you. Thank you. You see these, these kids all kind of like look at you. There's 
kind of scared because you showed your fangs. But uh, they all kind of like have quieted a little bit. What do you guys do? I uh, say, uh, don't worry. Uh, it's all right. My friend here won't bite. Um, she just has a way of trying to get things out of people with making them afraid. Oh, I, I, I don't like to be afraid though. I say don't mess with me. Oh, I'm sorry. I won't. I won't. And you see, you see one of the 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 rabbit. He runs away. Um, I say, uh, uh, my friend here uh, is a little. He likes people being afraid, but if you uh, get out information easier, maybe he won't have to show his fangs next time. Well, what? What's something I should do to make it so that he doesn't do that again? Maybe uh, not keep secrets from us. And when I ask, when one of us asks you a question, answer it the first time before he shows his things. Give me a talking role. I got a five. You got a five. She did it. So uh, you see the the group of kids kind of like look at each other. O- okay, we'll, we'll try. And I will try not to keep secrets, but I, I really hope you guys aren't cheaters, especially that Scoot. Scoot pulls up his, his, his phone and he see him typing he's, and it comes out on his phone as a message that's read from the phone that says, I'm not a cheater. I say, uh, you may not understand, but we'll try to keep things fair for you. They all kind of look at each other and they say, okay. And they all go back to where their troops are, to their troop leaders. And I yell, well, I actually giggle again. Because I giggled about the rabbit running away. Okay. You see uh, Scoot's uncle come over and says, Hey, guys, how is everyone doing? I tell him about, uh, about how they were thinking, calling us cheaters. Because if he is a judge, he should know about what people feel. I just giggle. Scoot's uncle looks at you and says, yeah, unfortunately they were saying, they were saying that Wilbur was cheating last year, but he didn't cheat. I know Wilbur and I know his grandfather. His grandfather was my troop leader when I was a kid. He would never do that. He would never cheat. And I would never cheat either. I say I'm more of a silent type. I, I th- say I Go understand, ahead. but maybe there is a little uh, misconnection between the people. Maybe, but you know what we could do? We could just do our best and make the coolest derby cars we can and get the best shot at trying to win. But we we don't, winning isn't everything in this, you know, because if you look at what Wilbur did, Wilbur, he made the coolest derby car I ever seen. You know what Wilbur did? He made everything about his family and he made everything that he could think of about his friends and represented it on his derby car. And it was so cool. He even added a turtle shell to it. And I think that's why it, it made it a little, he- it looked like it was a little heavier and it went really fast. So what I would do is don't worry about trying to win. Just worry about trying to give the, your best. And- uh, You actually draw on the sheet 
an add on to the dirty car? Yeah. So Scoot's uncle the next day brings you to his garage and he says to you, I want you guys to think about what represents Venture Village, your family and your friends to you. And I want you to make your derby car the coolest thing you could think of. Okay. And don't forget, make sure your helmet looks cool and make sure your goggles look cool because we have to wear both of them. Safety first. I like plants and snakes, so that's what I'm going to draw on my, on my helmet. Scoot brings over his phone and types into, the, into his device and says, that's really cool. I really like uh, swimming and uh, the water, so I want to represent that on mine. And I say, even though I'm more of a silent type, I like that. Scoot uh, goes on to his device again and says, I'm the silent type too, but it's mostly because, well, I'm, I'm kind of shy and I don't like to talk in front of people. Well, the thing is, I actually sh show my hands and fangs and hiss more than I talk. But that sometimes scares me. I'm not going to do it to you. Thank you. I say, uh, it's all right to be shy, but if you are shy, then why do you want to be a professional talker? Well, I'm shy now. And then he goes on to his phone. But I want to be brave when I'm older. I say, do you want to know how to be brave? It's take bravery step by step. Start with little things like adventures that aren't as scary and then get to like really scary things like fighting a dragon. Fighting a dragon? He says that out loud like because he was like amazed by that. Or fight, or fight a king cobra like me. He, he goes on his phone. That would be very scary. Yeah, that's... It's the first step to bravery. What? No, that's like close to the end. You go little by little on gaining bravery and not just going straight to fighting a dragon. Or fighting a king cobra. Sorry, my brother is very nuts. Scoot uh, laughs at this and uh, starts to work on his car some more. Uh, he says, I'm really glad that you guys are in my troop. I, 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 really, I really don't know many kids that I'm friends with that, well, that like me. And I'm kind of scared to talk to other animals. Especially King Cobras, I bet. Especially King Cobras. You see that Scoot currently is painting on his car what looks like a beach and some water. And you see him go into the other room and he pulls out a surfboard and this puts the surfboard on top of his uh, his cart. What do you guys add to your cart? Well, I, I'm actually still working on the helmet. That's okay. What do you want to bring? What do you want to add to it? What do you I'm think? I'm going to add a front fin, a back, and a back fin. And I think I might even add some designs on it and some wings. I had some light up spikes and on some the boosters. That and sounds really cool. 
It says that my car can fly. <laughs> Yours can fly? Yeah. That sounds so cool. I I never thought of doing that. But maybe oh, maybe if I put my surfboard on the bottom, I could use it on the water. I say good idea, Scoot. Good idea. That's what gets you to the coolest car is keeping up with your ideas. That sounds that's good advice. I think I might even add some some fire spikes, flaming spikes on the wings. What? You see Scoot's uncle come into the room and uh, he sees what you guys are working on. And he says, wow, you know, this reminds me of when I was in the troop and I was a kid and I did a lot of this too. I put, I put a, a knight on the front of my car and I had something that looked like a sword in the front. Like if it was gonna go slay a dragon. Cool, you guys are doing a really good job at decorating your cars. And I say, thanks. And I tell Scoot that the car is looking good and show him mine and ask him if he wants some help designing his car. I, I could use some help. I kind of don't know what else to put on mine. I ask him what makes you feel like home, feel at home. What makes me feel at home? Hmm. Well, like in Venture Village? Or anywhere else. Or you mean like in my home home, like in my house? Yeah, like if you went on an adventure and you were feeling a little bit homesick, what would you use to make you not feel as lonely and uh, far away from home? Oh, I, I know. And he runs out the door. Um, when he runs out the door and comes back, he brings um, a teddy. And the teddy uh, has uh, a knight's helmet and a shield. This is this is my teddy. He always makes me feel at home and safe. And he usually protects me when I'm sleeping. I'm not Ooh. saying this in the game, but I actually have a stuffy just like that. I named it Puppy. Peppy? Puppy. 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 That's super it's cool. Um but how do I how do I add him to to my car? I think it's too dangerous to put him on my car. Like draw. You can him. paint him on your car. Yeah. Oh. But how do I do that? You can start by painting him on painting a portrait of him and then paint the portrait on the car. But I'm not a very good artist. Do you want me I to like do a beat you made? Do you want me to draw it for you? Yeah. Can you give me a heart roll? One. So uh, as you start to draw it, he says, I don't think that looks like him very much. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use her help token. Okay, you want to use the help token? Mm -hmm. So how do you help? I help 
by giving her a nudge and point to tell Teddy with my tail. So are you trying to like show how how to like point out features of of Teddy? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you start to you start to draw it on on Scoot's car. And he says, that doesn't look like Teddy. And then you see Then you see, um, Cobri point like tap on your shoulder and points with his tail. No, look, he has a big shield here and he has a helmet. Don't forget the helmet. Does she have to re-roll? What was that? Does she have to re-roll? No. Uh, so how the help tokens work are if you can help them, can figure out a way to help the other player, um, you and you can describe how you're helping. It's like an automatic success. Oh, it's like your crown roll? Similar to a crown roll, yes. But for a crown roll in this game, what that means is you have to, you have to decide how, how you would be able to do it. So as your character, what would make you really good at doing something? So can you it's relate like it to your job? You a crown roll? What was that? It's like your buddy giving you a crown roll? Yes, absolutely. You see Scoot's uncle come in. He looks at you and says, where are you with your, with your cards? Let me see. Should I show you it? Let me see. Can you move it to the left? Little more. Oh. He says, I really like the way you did with your goggles and your helmet. That's really cool. And I like the spoiler and the bumper that you put on. How about you, Sensi? What do you have? I'm not ready yet. Oh, I won't look yet. I promise. There's one thing I forgot to tell you guys. There's a really important tradition that's a part of the rally race. And, and that is something that we're gonna do in a few minutes. When, when, you, when you're done, I want you to go and find something in the house that represents you. And that's what's something we're gonna add to your car. Like puppy? Yeah, like puppy. I think I think I'm going to call mine the fire rider. Scoot uh, looks at you uh, with big eyes and he says, "That's really cool. I I should name mine too." Sensi, what what are you going to name yours? I don't know. I think the lightning rod. The lightning rod. Cobri, what what did you say you were gonna name yours? And I kind of 
and I blow up my tail and I'm like the fire rider because I don't feel that good talking for a while. So we're going to take a few minutes so that uh, you guys could finish up your carts. Great. Now I'm making balloons. Look, that's my stuff so far. Oh, that's really cool. What are those dots around it? What is that? They're lights. Oh, that's cool. So when... When the, the sun starts to go down, that, that cart's going to look so cool. I show him, him my car again. What? You have wings? Yeah. Oh, that thing is going to fly so cool. I have a suggestion. Maybe you should call it the flame flyer. But you're still writing it. Yeah, I guess you're right. Good idea. So no matter what type of thing it is, it can, still can fly. And why don't you add a, a sur another surfboard on the top so, th so that it can go underwater and a fan on the back? Whoa, you're so smart. And also, did you know that King Cobra's friends are about the size of a pea? What? I didn't know that. I was just spotting my dice. It fell. No problem. Whoa, you have wings on yours too? Yeah. Sensi, if you are done, uh, what I want you to do is go find something in your house that represents something for you.
then. Whoa, that that's so down, cool. That one down there is a wing on the bottom. What? How well how are you gonna drive it if there's a wing on the bottom? Is it gonna fly? It cuts into the ground and then when it's flying, it gives it a starting boost, and then there's also boosters on the back. That is so cool. So, Cobri, if you're done, I want you to go grab something that represents you from okay. your house. But also, do you think I'm going to win? I don't know. I hope so. I hope we all win. I'm going to get puppy anyway. Okay. I couldn't find him. It's okay. So Scoot shows you his car. His car has uh, ocean, the drawing that you guys helped with. He has a shield on his helmet and the sun, but looks like the sun around his goggles. And the suggestion of the, the fan and the, the surfboard on top of his, his cart. He said, what do you think of mine? That's great. Good thinking, Scoot. Oh, I think oh. He might win the way race. He runs inside and he comes out and he brings a sword and he puts the toy sword on a pole on the side of his car. Are you guys going to add those? What are you going to add to your car that represents you? Oh, is that a book? What is that book of? It's uh, Dragon Slayer's Academy, the early four factors. <laughs> he just said hi. Who is that? This is Puppy. Hi, Puppy. Are you going to add him to your car too? I might add a tiny drawing of him because I don't have that much room. It's okay. I I'm I don't have a lot of room on my car either. I I hope we win the race. Tomorrow's the race and and I'm kind of scared. I'm I'm nervous about it. Should I draw spots for the white? If you want to. I'm trying to make Puppy in a good position. What? I'll just take an inspiration for each other. It's cool. I yes. actually, I actually have the D10. Oh yeah, see. I, I rolled a seven on my Keep, heart one. Okay. Keep trying. I've been listening. It's awesome. So what? So what should I do? I'm kind of nervous about tomorrow. Should I like? Should I? Should I drop out of the race? No. I'm kind of scared. Try and get over it. How? What do you think I should do? Uh, maybe practice your bravery. 
Like how? How do I how do I practice that? You know how you're shy, try you got over your bravery by talking to us when you were brand new. Us. That, that's true. So who should I practice talking to now then? I don't know. Definitely not a King Cobra though. No, no, not a King Cobra. They're scary. Maybe a rabbit? Can can you come with me? Sure, sure. If they're bullies, I could show them my fangs. If they're mean to you, we'll protect you. Especially me. <laughs> Thank you. And he walks outside and you see some kids playing on the street. Um, and he starts to back up a little bit. Scoot's scared. I tell Scoot that... Uh, if he ever gets too scared, that he might want to uh, ask me, he can ask me to go with him. Roll me a talk roll. And I say, or me. Two. A two. Uh, he, okay. he looks at you and he says, huh? I'm too scared. I, I'm too scared to go. I say, uh, well, you might be too scared, but if they're too mean, you can just back away, Scoot, or ask one of us to uh, tell them to be nicer, especially the King Cobra over here. That sounds like a heart roll. Can you give me a heart roll? Can I, should I also do it? What are you adding to the conversation? So I also say that three. If you need protection from me, I can show them my friends and bite them. Give me, uh, give me a heart roll. Are King Cobras? Uh, well, mine bumped off of was Micah's thing. But you did offer to use your fangs, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you have advantage. All right. And it's also your job Eight. to protect people. Awesome. So uh, he looks at you and says, "So you'll you'll show them your fangs if they're mean to me." Yep. And I hey. tell. In that if he accidentally, uh, if that doesn't work, that I can uh, help my cobra friend. But okay. I don't have any help to them. Or I haven't extension. had to use them because my things are my item. In either one, I rolled, I succeeded on my heart roll. You see, Scoot look at keeps looking back at you guys as he like walks over to to the group of animals and he says uh, uh, hi i'm sc 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 scoot and then all the other animals are looking and then one says hi i'm jeffrey scoot hi. looks really he looks happy and scared at the same time i tell scoot like this I tell Scoot that I, I say, I thought you wouldn't need a ton of help. So why don't you go on? I'll be uh, there if they are mean. Okay. I, I'm going to ask them if they want to play. And you see Scoot run over and, and start to talk to them. And they ask everyone if they want to play a game of tag. Do you guys want to play too? Um, I can't really tag that well. Oh, you could use your tail. Okay, because when I play tag, I normally play with animals that are immune to my King Cobra's venom. Oh. I say, sure, we would love to. And uh, I and normally, 
it's just you guys I know aren't immune to my venom. So I normally play with things that are immune to my venom in place my fangs instead. I say sure, we love because my venom can't affect them. So you see, uh, Scoot's a little confused right now. He looks at at Sensi and says, "You're gonna play, uh, but it, your brother said that he he doesn't want to do it because he's gonna affect us with his poison." I say he's just trying to be funny, and he likes people being afraid of him. He won't, even if he tries to. I promise. One time, I accidentally did it. I'll make sure he doesn't hit you. With the tortoise, but I actually bit his shell. Oh. Well, that's not so bad. So that means you didn't poison him. Yeah. In fact, it's the same exact turtle who won last year. Oh. Oh, that's kind of cool. Um, the day passes by. You guys play tag with everyone and have a great time. The next morning is the morning of the race. And you see all the troops coming together. A few of them still kind of looking at you, kind of suspicious. Uh, a few of them look like they're happy to, to invite you uh, over to talk and, and talk about your cars. And you see that, you see Scoot's uh, uncle come over and says, oh, it looks like you found something, something really cool to add to your car. You, you have a book? And you look like, is, is, that a, is that a dog? What is that? Yeah, it's my stuffed dog. Oh, he must be really special. Does he, he protect you? Yeah, I got him when I was a baby. That's really cool. In fact, this actually happened in real life. It happened in real life too? That's cool. Um, you see his uncle look at you guys and say, well, I have to go to the judge's table, but I just wanted to say good luck. And I really hope you guys win. You did such an excellent job on your, on your cards today. Thank you. Thank you. You, you guys start to hear the announcements for the races. And you know that there are going to be three sets. And all three of you are going to have a chance to race. Uh, Crowbury, Sensi, and Scoot. Let's see. That's my car. I added nice. some black on the wheels. I like it. So... You see a bunch of different cars. You see a car that has a painting of, of Snoopy on it. You see a painting of on another cart that has uh, polka Terminator? dots. What? Terminator? The Terminator? Charmander. Charmander. Oh, Charmander. Yeah, you see one that has Charmander on it. You see another one that has uh, a dragon head. You see another one that has claws coming out the sides that look like like um, a crab's claws. Uh, you see a. Are you scared? Yeah. Scoop comes over to you and says, "Are are you scared?" Yeah. I didn't think you could be scared of things. I'm also kind of nervous. About I'm what? Kind of, I'm nervous about I'm. I'm, I'm kind of nervous that we might lose. I tell uh, both Scoot and Cobri that uh, if that we might, I tell them that if I ask them if they have a know a spot where we can take a second, because we're definitely not like, okay, we can do this. Uh, but we look kind of scared. Scoot's looking around and he says, there's just so many people. Where do we go? I asked I, maybe I, your garage. I, 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 I don't know. We, yeah, my garage is a good idea. It's really close. 
Come on, let's go. I, I if, if it's actually really dark sometimes, I might be scared. Well, I, I could, sometimes without puppy near me, I'm afraid of the dark. What's in the dark? I don't want to be more scared. Oh, I say, oh, nothing. I just hear about myths or about bad things in the dark, like ghosts. Ghosts? Oh, they aren't real. He just believes in them. I don't believe in them. I just hear about them. Oh, I don't know if I want to hear about ghosts. Now I'm even more scared. Sorry. So, Scoot is... For, for saying ghosts. Can you give me, can you give me a heart roll to both of you? I was saying heart roll because I noticed it that it said apologizing. One. Mm -hmm. Seven. Yeah, so uh he says, oh, it's okay. I I just get a little spooked out sometimes. Maybe we should stay in on the on the driveway instead of going in the garage. So this way we don't get more scared. And then they noticed that that in a jiffy I flew my car over to your garage. Your driveway. You you did what? Flew my car over to the driveway. Okay, that sounds cool. Do you take your your cart too, Sensi? Uh, no. Well, yes, I park it on music mode. Um. Scoot also brings his cart over and says, well, how do we, what's something we could do to prepare ourselves so that we're not scared to go, whether we win or lose, what is something we can do to, to make ourselves feel stronger about it? I don't know. I have an idea. Well, bring, try and bring what makes you feel not scared, like your and teddy. Then they, and then they noticed that I pulled Puppy out of my car. <laughs> so, I'm. Are you gonna bring Puppy with you in the car? Cause yeah. I'm gonna bring Teddy. Cause I actually put Puppy under the ceiling, steering wheel so he would be safe. That's a good idea. I think I'm gonna do that too. It's just I made it to where there was something that could hold Puppy in the car. Oh. I am going to bring my favorite stuffy and tuck that under the steering wheel. And I'm also going to bring my book and put it on the oh God, auto like read aloud. I like your car. Perch. Okay. Yeah. Do you think you guys are ready for the race? Yep. Yep. And uh, do we I all made go puppy. at once or I are pretend. there like different I stages of it? Different place. stages. Everyone's going to go at a different time. Okay. Can Micah go, go on the land race? I go in the air and you go on in the water? Yep. So there are different areas where the race is going to be taking place. There's one on the air, one on the land, and one in the water. I'll take the air one. Because mine's super speedy in air. I'll take the water. I mean the land. The land? Because I have springs and my Scoot, That means you are do you have, I mean, what's the like water? A, That's one reason why I made it to where yours could be like a submarine. This is a really good idea. I'm, I didn't know they were going to have three different tracks. Um, you see Scoot get into his car. I'm, I think I'm ready. I say, good. Do you think you're ready, Sensi? Well, sorry, Cobri. <laughs> no, no, not really, but I think I might be able to be brave. Just use Puppy. Puppy will help you. Puppy will protect you. And I made it in, in the game. I made it to where, where like, I, to where, like, Puppy said, roof, roof. <laughs> do, you, do you squeeze him and he says, roof? When you squeeze him, does he make a noise? Yeah. In the game? In the game, yes. He can, when I squeeze him in real life, I can make him move his arms. 
Does he do that in the game too? Does he move his arms and go? Yeah. Yeah. So everyone lines up in their different in their different areas. Uh, Scoot lines up in the water in in Venture Lake, and he's ready to go. He's the first one to go. I line up on the ground, and Mike does too, because my car starts on the ground. Yeah, everyone. Well, everyone's car starts on the ground, then has to go through a, a special area. Uh, on the ground level, you notice that there's a bunch of big hills that go up and down like this. In the air, you notice that there's a bunch of like loops to fly through to, so you know where to go. And in the water, there's a I bunch of... I would just cut the loops. You what? I would just cut the loops. Because of the sharp, because of the sharp fin on the bottom. We're gonna see what happens, and there's buoys floating in the water uh, to show on the water track where to go. And you see Scoot. He he lines up. He starts to go. They you see the lights go red, yellow, and then you hear a big, and everyone takes off. And Scoot right now is neck and neck with someone going down in the water, following the track. Um, you see someone yell, you're a cheater. And Scoot, you see him holding Teddy and holding the wheel. And he says, no, I'm not. And he keeps going and he comes in second place, but which the thing is, is really I, good. I actually, I actually show things through my car <laughs> you see you see a few people <gasps> a few animals like get a little scared when you do that you see them stop next is cobri it's time for the air and you're sitting there and some of the, one of the the racers is looking at you and I I'm not. The, I I'm not going to let a bunch of cheaters beat me. I show them my fangs. I don't care about your fangs. You. I'm not going to let a cheater beat me. I jump out of my car and bite him. <laughs> he. He says, "Hey, look! He's a cheater. He bit me." <laughs> and I jump out of his. I off his hands without the was and I didn't use my venom and I went back into my car. Um he's he looks like real mad he like is like rubbing his arm. Mm, I'm gonna make sure I win now. And then I shoot a rocket out of my out of the side of my car and it hits his car. You you see one of the the uh troop leaders come out. No cheating no rockets no fangs <laughs> and looks over at the the bear that you uh that you bit and says no scaring and making fun of people and uh he goes up into a little booth and gets ready to signal the lights and you see it go red yellow You start to take off and the bear tries to cut you off before you get to the to the ring. What do you do? So I turn on my boosters and I use my super speed. All right. So give me a move roll. Three, four, five. Mm -hmm. Two. So you you go to try and get in there and the bear gets in there right before you in the first ring you're now like right behind the bear as the bear is trying to do a loop to try and get to the next one easier what do you do i'm trying to turn on my boosters again you try to turn on your boosters again so give me another move roll five a five so you turn on your boosters as 
as the bear is going around in a loop, you just turn your boosters on and jet right past him through the next loop. There's one more loop left and everyone else is behind you and the bear. What do you do? You see that there are some trees that are kind of in the way, but there's a bunch of big areas where there's branches. I make, I, tr I send out my bottom one to swoop over the trees. Okay, so you're gonna try to go over the trees? Mm -hmm. Okay. With my bottom fin. With your bottom fin. So you're trying to shoot the bottom fin down to cut the trees, is that what you're doing? Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna say that this is gonna be a focus roll. This is gonna be really hard to do because you're trying to race, but you're also trying to cut down these, these trees. So give me a focus roll. I got a, I rolled a one. You rolled a one, so you have a help token. Um, is there any way that Sensi can help in this situation? I, uh, I cheer him on and tell him, uh, try and dive up upward and just, uh, aim for it, and then when you pass the trees, die down. So I do you- I'm to go up, not go through the trees. So you listen to the advice? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you succeed. You cut the branches and swoop down as, as the blades coming down, cutting the, the branches, you follow it, swooping down and swoop right into the, the last hoop, right before the bear gets there and you come in first place. Uh, the bear looks like he has a big sour puss face on, and like, mm. He comes over to you and puts his paw out. What do you do? I grab his hand. Do you shake it? Mm -hmm. He says, that was a good race. I'm sorry I called you a cheater. And I say, in fact, a close race. You almost won, and that, and I was even nervous. Second place is good too. Yeah. Thank you. My my name is George. My name is Curly. Next up is the water section. I thought we already did the water section. I mean, sorry, the, the land section. And Sensi, you are in your car, your cart. You see that there are a few other carts here. One has big monster wheels. One has um, what looks like very similar to yours, has springs, but only springs, no wheels. And one has what looks like an army uh, tank treads. You see Scoot's uncle walk past you guys. He, he looks at you and says, good luck, and climbs up, pulls the the chain and you see the lights go red yellow Brrr. what do you do you're going everyone starts to take off and you come to this first hill and it doesn't look that big until you get close to it the closer you get you realize how big this hill is and how hard it must be to try to drive up and over it i uh, deploy my springs. All right. So give me a move roll. So my kind of move focused and hopeful is yeah. one are easier than me. What was it? A one? Yeah, the yeah. lower number die. Can Colby help in this situation? What is she trying to do? trying to, to bounce 
trying to activate the springs, but it seems like since he's having trouble figuring out which button deploys the spring. My top one actually, my top fin actually is a following thing, which I can type, which on, which in the front, I can type in where it goes. And I type in to the, to, and for Micah's car, to the button, where it deploys the springs. So are you sending a message? Is that what you're doing? Yeah. So what is your message? The message that comes up on Sensi's uh, dashboard, what does it say? It says it's the red one on the right. Do you press the red button? I do. You press the red button right before you get to the hill, right before the, the, it gets really steep and you bounce right to the top of it and bounce again from the top to the bottom. Uh, and your car starts to roll again to the next hill. And you realize this next hill is even higher, but at the top of the hill, you notice that one of the riders bumped into a tree and the tree fell over. And it's now kind of blocking the top of the hill. What do you do? I uh, try and drop two spikes to make my uh, my tires more bumpy and rough. Okay, this sounds like it's going to be a focus roll. You're trying to figure out what you need to do. How do I make this happen right in time? Two. Perfect. So you are like, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Oh, I got to think about this. And you press a button and spikes come out of your wheels. And you start to like grab onto the tree and tread right over it without a problem. The third part of the last part of the race, you start to see uh, the, the, there's a little hedgehog and the little hedgehog is the one who has the big monster wheels. And he just comes right over the log, jumps over it, and his lands right next to you. Um, you're neck and neck to the race as you're coming to the last part of it, to, to the last hill. What do you do? What gives you an advantage right now? I uh, deploy my stink. <laughs> you're going to do that as a distraction? Yeah. All right, I, I, I like this. So this sounds like you're using your perfume, right? So use that uh, and you're gonna give me, you're gonna give me, let's think about this. You're trying to, what are you trying to achieve out of this? You're trying to slow them down? I'm trying to distract drive? them because it stinks so much. They're trying to get it out of, of the way. Okay, so give me, give me a focus roll and you have advantage. So you're gonna roll twice. One, five. So, can Cobri help in this crucial last ditch effort so that Sensi could win this part of the race? I send. Wait, what is she trying to do? She's. I'm, I'm trying to make it. To, there's a hedgehog who's right next to me, and I'm trying to. Oh, I get, fire my bottom spike, spike, which pops one of the hedgehog's tires. But how do you help Sensi? Uh, is Sensi is trying to figure out how to get the stink from the perfume to, to hit and distract the hedgehog. How do you help Sensi do that? Well, I use my air car to send a powerful wind her way to hit it. I like it. So you're using your, your engines uh, like the, the fans to blow the smell. Well, I don't have fans. Oh, what do you have? I have my boosters, which oh, is okay. a powerful wind. I like it. Fire. 
Yeah. So like you, you feel it even, it's so powerful sensey that it slows you down a little bit, but the, a big cloud of your perfume goes backwards and all the cars like start like driving all like crazy and stop for a second because they're like all holding their nose. Oh, it smells. <laughs> and, and you go up the last hill and make it through the finish line in first place. Um, so right now, you see all of the judges all lined up, all writing on paper. So this part of the this part of the challenge is the most creative. Who had which troop had the most creative of all of the other troops, and everyone is starting to mark down. Can you show me your your carts again? Um, mm -hmm. You see everyone starting to to mark down as as your cars start to roll past all the judges. Everyone's looking at your helmets and your goggles. And then they're about to announce who the winners are. What's your troop number? Sensi, give me one number, one digit number. Uh, five. And Cobri, give me a one digit number. Seven. We're gonna say it's troop 572. Um, you chose two? Yes. So you see. Can I find the third one? Mm -hmm. You see one of the judges stand up and say, uh, and the person who stands up is Scoot's uncle and says, I just want everyone to know that everyone on the judges panel this year has unanimously decided who the winner was. This year, the winner is troop 571. And everyone starts to clap. Um, you see some of the animals that were, were teasing you guys and saying you were cheaters before. They were coming over and said, you guys, you really, you really did do the best in creating your cars. I just put polka dots on mine. I say, uh, do you want to know what gets you a ton of creativity? It's what? thinking about what makes you you and doing that. Like, let's say you're brave. You could do swords or something on it. That's really good advice. Thank you. I'm going to do better next year. So... Thank you guys for playing. Um, in Venture Village, we usually give away stuff called village points. And how village points work is depending on how you resolve your problems is how you would get village points. And those village points are things that you would add to help give yourself more advantage by maybe doing something else that's helpful, uh, doing something that might be... Uh, something for someone else. So maybe you're going to possibly bring new people to the town um, or have a new building in town. So you guys earned three self points. You guys earned three social points and you guys earned two decision-making points. So if you had a choice, because it would be to add something, it would be three points to add something. So would you choose to add something to yourself, something to bring someone to the town from the story, or to bring a new building into the town? What would you choose? Self. What was that? I said self. 
And what, what would something that you would add to yourself? Would you add another item or would you add something else that's helpful? I would add an item. What would that item be? Maybe a jetpack. A jetpack. Awesome. I like that. And what about you, Sensi? Um, I think I would add a magic box that can, uh, I can take anything out of. 